Here's a demonstration of using Dynabot as a workflow tool in order to complete a workflow using Freeform. I'm going to load my initial piece, which is a scan of a hand. This here is going to create a wrist brace. So it's a similar workflow. And the Dynabot I have created, I am also going to drag from off screen. And it opens in a separate editor window, which has all of the contents of the Dynabot. And to prove that this here is a simplified workflow, I will close my tool palette, slide the editor over, and click Start to begin. As you can see, we have uh, an HTML page with text and an image. Instructions here say this will walk you through the steps to create a two-part wrist brace shows what it will look like, and to begin, please select the clay piece in the object list that was made from the imported scan mesh. So this is expecting a clay piece, and as soon as I click over here in the object list, it's going to proceed. The next step is going to be drawing boundary curves. So use the draw curve tool, so click that, and it enters draw curve. Enable fit to clay on create, automatically turns on fitting, and it gives me an illustration of what type of curves I'm creating. So I'm going to create three curves, one around the fingers. So I will start here on the model. I am clicking with my stylus. I touch the surface, move around, click to add a new point. And I don't have to add very many curves because the fitting does allow for a relative good amount of space. Close that and create one at the back of the forearm. Now that that is complete, I click continue. The next step has splitting curves. So because I'm already in the draw curve tool, I don't need to click this or click to fit. I'm already in that tool in load. And what I'm going to do now is draw three separate curves, one on the outside of the wrist, one on the inside of the wrist, and one between the thumb and index finger. So I change my view, click a few points, press E to end my curve, repeat for the side, One more curve to go. Now with all of these curves created, the next steps are largely done by the Dynabot. I will have to make a couple selections in the object list. So I will click, click continue. And here it says, create the cutting tool for the boundaries. The first three curves, the loop curves that I created, it says to select them in the object list and click continue. So those first three curves, make sure they're the only three selected. They highlight here in the interface and click continue. Now it's using the ridge tool to create cutting guides. It will create those as clay. It moved the curves into a folder called boundary curves, renamed the new tool that it created. And the next step that appears is going to basically have me do the same thing where I select the remaining curves and it's going to create tools from those. I will click continue. Those are being created as well as a tool for um, smoothing the area of the edge of the brace. And once all of that is done, it's going to do the offset from the initial scan data. So right now you can see starting offset calculation. This takes about a minute or so on my laptop. So we just have to be patient and the Dynabot does tell us construction in progress. So we have some indication that something's going on. Now it's smoothing. performing some Boolean operations. It removed out parts of the model. It 
trimmed using the cutting guides. And this step here has me click the area that is going to be the wrist brace. And this will allow me to, well, this is in the select clay tool and it's using seed select. So when I click the clay, it is going to automatically progress. So I touch the surface, click the stylus button, and the Dynabot is doing the rest. So it's removing clay that it doesn't need, trims out other parts it doesn't need, and finally it says to select the bottom of the brace. So the last step is just like the previous one where I look at what I want, touch with the stylus, and as soon as I click, it is performing a um, cut and paste, separating the two objects, renaming them, and the Dynabot is complete. This has been less than, or about five minutes, all said and done with my explanation, which without that it could have been faster. If I hide the arm, you can see that we have a wrist brace that is built of two separate pieces. They are named. All of the construction elements are still in the file, so if you wanted to save those or delete those, that is entirely up to you. But this is a demonstration that was done without any other tools. There were no hidden keyboard shortcuts. This was driven completely by some pre-built automation and some user input. I hope this is uh, helpful and instructive for what can be done with Dynabot. And these type of workflows are possible. You can customize them to your need. There's also opportunity for higher levels of customization with querying users for thicknesses. You can pop up dialogues asking for specific values. There are a lot of opportunities for further customization that were not necessary for this workflow. Thank you very much.